30 times. Two times more. And stop. People unconsciously are begging you to stay in your truth, to prove to them eventually that they were just judging themselves through you. Yeah. Because people that say you shouldn't do that believe that that's bigger than they can allow themselves to experience. So they are dying to keep you small so that they don't feel bad about the idea that the way that they were might be a lie, you know, and then they were wrong. And the ego doesn't want to be wrong. So the ego does everything it can to keep people that are expanded. But I've discovered that the more you live in your truth, the more those people fall away. Because the bigger your truth gets, the more you embody the universe through you, the more that people are either willing to change or become more scared of their own truth and run. Yeah. So you start losing the people that are judging you. Like I used to have it like crazy and I would unconsciously put out energy that was apologetic or overproving or I'm sorry that I'm saying this, I know it sounds crazy. I used to do that too. Right. Yeah. And the more you did that, the more you're inviting the, the, the fear and saying, I'm putting out vibrationally that I'm not all the way in my truth. Yeah. And I'm apologizing to people that I shouldn't be apologizing to. Most of the people, it's like someone in first grade telling someone in sixth grade they're wrong. Well, the first grader hasn't seen second, third, fourth, fifth grade. So, yeah. so they don't know what you know. And it's not mean, but I really believe one of the reasons we get so stressed is we're all artists and we're all these amazing people and we're trying to live at first grade level. You're at a job that doesn't fulfill you, you're in a stagnant friendship, you're, you're, you know, your heart wants to do more. Thirty times.
Two times more. And stop. Is a little controversial at times, but I really believe that the people that we look up to, the Oprahs and the Gandhis and Wayne and all these people that are legends, we do that because we also know somewhere in us we're all just as amazing. Yes. And I believe that everyone is a Michael Jackson or a Michael Jordan and and or whoever your favorite is and what I believe going to a concert is or watching a movie is when people who often aren't aware of their abilities are worshiping people who are aware of theirs. Yeah. And every one of us has this greatness and I'm holding a space for people to receive that and if you hear that and you go well he doesn't know me or blah 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 notice the evidence that comes in that that's not true needs the past right the evidence that I'm not that great needs the past as proof and if you ask yourself right now there's a space in your body that's beating your heart that doesn't care about your story when you're talking about guilt, that not only forgives you, is forgiveness. It looks at you and it just is fine. The only reason you feel guilt is because you're, you are aware everything you've ever done in your life, you could go through step by step knowing how you could have done that. And just by doing that, you can forgive yourself. Your pain is trying to get a society that's living at a mediocre level to see what you know. But that society collectively doesn't know how to feel themselves, so they're not going to forgive you. Yeah. So that's where your guilt comes in. But if you ask yourself, do I truly forgive myself and use it to transcend that and move to a new place of understanding and love, you'll never, it's not, guilt serves a purpose not for you to feel bad, but for you to actually move forward internally and have more connection to the universe and source so that you move even more in alignment with your truth. Yeah, and if you actually notice the two places where you feel guilty, guilt you feel here. And that's you perceiving yourself as what your parents saw you as, or what's this. And remember, your parents, some of our parents grew up during like the Great Depression. Thirty times. <sighs> Two times more. And stop. So I believe right now we live in a whole new consciousness than we did 10 years ago that loves you even more and our pain is still staying in the old consciousness. Now you can measure it the same way with technology. In the 60s, we had rotary phones. We had phones right. that you did this thing and it would go like this and now we have like iPhone 9s with apps on them. And most of us, are all we're all iPhone 9s but with the old rotary phone programming so we check in with our rotary phone parents we check in with the rotary phone technology in our body and we're like a brand new computer that should be updating itself every three days like iPhones iTunes does or whatever iPhones do 
but we instead check with our DOS programming from the 80s <laughs> yeah, or, or Windows 95 phone. on what we should do. But the reason iPhones keep making new phones is and, and updating themselves is because they have to clear out the old consciousness so they can move faster and better. And we gotta meditate and connect with the true upgrading yeah. of what we are versus asking a collective consciousness who's sitting like a phone with a cord in the kitchen. And when you check in with yourself, that phone with the cord, it can't forgive you because it's not updated. And it's funny because, you know, then there's also this go, there's so many go-tos when you have the backpack to avoid taking it off, right? Like just overeating or watching TV or whatever. And then there's even becoming a coach or something, right? So you're wearing a backpack going, I'm going to tell you the nine steps to removing your backpack, but you still have your backpack on. Yeah. And, and then you're like creating strategies versus the infinite power of what you are you yeah. know I notice that so many people I work with are so overwhelmed by how-to strategies yeah and I'm not trying to knock any industry or anything but like when you need to learn how to do one thing you'll learn it at the time but there's people out there that expand your body like your book expands people right there's Brene Brown her book expands people there's there's Wayne Dyer you you feel more connected to you 